Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolathes at Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333, and we're going to be starting off this exhibition match stream with a short match before a very long match. First off, 400 versus Icons on Wanderlust, which I've been showing off a lot recently. It's a good map. It's well set up. I mean, it's. Yeah, I mean, it's got nice cliffs, it's got a couple good spots for starting out. It's a good map. I like it. I haven't said I like it, and then Floris, who, Floris the 14th who, set, who made the map, tells me, thank you. Because he made the map. Anyway, let's actually show the game. So Ikens going for the Shield Bot Factory, while an early dirtbag, very early dirtbag, while 400 going for the Spider Bot Factory, a choice I agree with. Although, I've been finding not the most success myself, but this map, with all of its cliffs, does make the Spider Bot Factory make a lot of sense. Though, it's also a pretty good map for a lot of factories. I'm not sure if every factory works well on this map. I mean, obviously ships don't. But other than, you know, pure sea factories, I'm pretty sure this map actually works decently well for most starts. Spiderbot, however, does have the cliffs to work with, and that is always nice. So Ikens going for, let's see, Bandit. So Dirtbag into Bandit with Fleas going around for 400 to figure out what's going on, while 400 goes straight into Venom. Does 400, 400 has no Weavers. Wow, okay, so 400 entirely off of the Venom right now. Icons going straight for Bandits, too. Both players going very aggressive. Neither of them going for an early worker. This is a touch unusual. Normally you see a few hooray or harassment units and then a worker pops up. But no, this is pretty heavy aggression on both sides. I mean, in the case of 400, it's more of the fleas for the sake of having scouting and so forth. But still, Icons going heavy on Bandits. Are we gonna... S still no Convict, really? Bandit to Rogue. Well, Rogue obviously makes sense because Spiderbot Factory, you want to deal with everything. All their Venoms and Redbacks, those get dealt with by Rockos and Rogues. Rogues should be able to deal with it, no problem. Rockos, I know, do. Rogues should have no problem. I mean, Venoms are a riot unit, so you get a Skirmisher. That just makes sense. So at this point, both players kind of posturing a bit. 400 a little bit aware of where Ikens is set up, but otherwise not really all that sure what's going on, I don't think. Let's see. What do, they, what do they know? They know there are bandits around here. They know that rogues have been built very early on. And not much else. They, I guess, know that Ikens has only been going over from the north side. Whereas Ikens has basically no knowledge of what's going on. They know that there is a metal extractor over here. Which I guess they can guess that 400 started in the northwest side of the map. That's about it. That's all they know. And the Spiderbot factory, obviously. That's it. Spiderbot Factory 400 knows that rogues are on the way, so what is their response? Are they going to start building recluses? Are they going to build a bunch of venoms? I mean, venoms. Fleas? Are they going to build more venoms and just assume that bandits are the primary meat of the army? Looks like the response is primarily get up a lotus or two, but otherwise, there isn't really a response yet. Expand? Assume that Icons won't really do a whole lot of harassment right now? That seems to be the way to go. That's what 400's thinking anyway. And Icons expanding a fair bit as well, but I, th I think that 400 is really going to be expanding faster. They're going more for the naked expansion. They got a second Weaver very quickly. And Venom's obviously having a hard time. No real surprise there. I mean, we are talking about rogues. Rogues deal with Venom's. I know I was being apprehensive before, but it's a skirmisher riot thing. Skirmishers deal with riots. That's just kind of how it goes. That's the counter structure. Although it looks like the... Are they getting too close? Yeah, some of the rogues are not backing off quickly enough, allowing the Venoms a bit of a free shot, but not enough to support. Not like There's no support available, not enough to really stop the rogues. That's the thing. If there were redbacks alongside there too, that might work. At this point, really, 400 is not dealing a huge amount of damage. They've gotten rid of one bandit, about to lose a... Oh, wow, nice dodge. I saw, they were about to lose a Venom there, but managed to get it out of the way. Good dodging there by 400, and over to the south, 400 continuing to build up. Ikens is aware of this with the dirtbag over there. But Ikens is expanding a lot slower than 400 is. Like, 400 is just getting an economic advantage. Ikens going rogue into Racketeer. Now, this is, I believe... Yeah, this is a nerfed Racketeer. Racketeers have been nerfed recently to have a 6 second reload time as opposed to a 5 second reload time in order to make them less able to just stun out an entire army. Which is... Probably, it's a, it sounds like a, not a big nerf, but it's bigger than it sounds. I mean, that is a 20% increase in reload speed, so they are going to be firing that much less frequently. That being said, against an army that's primarily two or three Venoms, I doubt it's going to make much of a difference. And then a Crab coming out too, so 400 
playing right into Iken's strategy right now. Mind you, there's only the one Racketeer. So you're going to switch into Bandits, so that's going to be probably to deal with... I guess they're assuming that we're going to see Recluses? Like, Icons, I think, is assuming 400 is going to go for Recluses, because Bandits would counter the Recluses, and Recluses would help get rid of the Rogues, because Recluses outrange most Skirmishers. However, because 400 is going for Crabs, I think, or at least a Crab, the Racketeer is going to be useful, the Bandits won't be so useful, the Rogues will actually be moderately useful. Although, with the Crab in position, if the Crab is able to set up, the Rogues will pretty much have to retreat. On this map, I mean, there's this area right here. This hill, that could work for the Crabs. Otherwise, there isn't a huge amount of space, unless 400 were to terraform a Spire. Like, make this Spire here taller. That would allow a Crab a really good vantage point to deal with everything around here. But that's not happening. Not right now. However, 400 has expanded quite a lot. They are building up... Okay, getting a Sky Dust over to the south to make sure nothing can easily harass the south. And, I mean, Ikens does have some units in place to harass it, while over to the north, the Venoms not able to do too much. That Racketeer doing his job. I mean, against one or two units, the fire rate nerf doesn't matter a huge amount. It does matter a bit, but not enough to make a difference to really help those Venoms survive. So, Crab still a ways away. 400, unfortunately, short on energy and also losing a lot of their base. This is not good. Ikens getting a very nice position here on 400. 400, I'm not sure if they were expanding. I think they were expanding a bit too quickly. Certainly weren't building energy fast enough to make it work. And they only have 17 and a half metal going into their factory. That's a huge deal. The fact that they only have that much metal means the crab, even with the energy, if the energy were enough to deal with the metal, I mean, that is if 400 weren't accessing metal, that's still not enough. 400 is still not producing that crab as quickly as they could. And that will probably cost them the game. I'm really not sure why they went for the crab at this point either. Given all the rogues, I would expect either a bunch of fleas or maybe hermits just to tank through. I wouldn't expect a crab. Like, against a crab, I would actually go for rogues myself. Like, rack deers and rogues, because rogues get the... I mean, the range advantage... Let's just check out range. Just compare it. 600 Nalmo compared to, I think, 420. 530, yeah, it's not a huge range disadvantage for the rogues. I mean, fleas kind of what you do to counter these things. I grant bandits do deal with fleas. Bandits, you got to be careful about them. They would be a major problem. However, that being said, that also goes to the crab to an extent. And in all honesty, the crab is just going to be a pain in the butt to set up. 400 is just going to have a hard time really putting their crab in position. Not to mention now that it's been disarmed, it's going to be even harder since even if it were to crab up, I mean, it's very nearly fully disarmed. It's the thing with, that's the thing about crab's health system is that because its health is effectively a quarter of what, no, a third of what it normal, of what it is armored up when they're moving, things like the racketeer shot, it really deals with the crab when the crab is in transit. When it, I can't speak today, sorry. When the crab's in transit, it deals a lot of damage, and when the crab is back to being armored up, it keeps it locked down. So really, that crab is dead. That crab's totally dead. Just because it got hit while it was moving. That was the big mistake there. So I'm not sure what 400 was going for there. I just didn't really know. I liked the expansion, but there really needed to be more production in the main base to make that expansion truly pay off. At that rate, it was just going to be, you know, maybe if they held the center, a crab over up here on this hill or on an artificial hill, use that to attack everything else just to hold the top center and then continue pushing. That might work. But yeah, I feel like crabs were kind of playing into everything Icons was already doing that 400 knew about with the rogues. So, yeah, I don't know. Rogues are a bit tricky to deal with. Skirmishers are hard to deal with as spiders because Recluses are not the most accurate, though they are not that inaccurate. Their accuracy is often underrated. But still, they aren't the most accurate unit in the game. And also, fleas are really frail. So other raiders can just wipe the floor with fleas. But that's generally true of a raider skirmisher setup anyway, is that the raiders oftentimes pair off or just deal with each other, leaving the skirmishers alone. So it can be difficult anyway, but yeah, with fleas, it is especially difficult. It is markedly more challenging to get in with fleas to deal with skirmishers than with any other raider. 
That looks like the metal usage was actually about the same. Value for units, wow, 400 really dropped off. Pretty good, but I guess, yeah, they invested so heavily in the crab they lost the rest of their army. The Venom never really had support. I feel like Venom Hermit wouldn't have been a bad idea. But 400 kind of locked themselves into a corner to an extent with spiders, unfortunately. Like, Eikens was really on point with the counter. However, that counter is primarily against Venoms. It's not a universal anti-spider counter, it is a Venom counter. Just Venoms are so crucial at the factory, it's difficult to get around not having them. Or not having them so freely available. Anyway, that was the warm-up game, or the first game. Next game is going to be a bit of a longer one. Flipstep versus Kshatriya on Into Battle. That'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.